Next up, I guess we're hanging out in Florida for the rest of this show. Former St. Pete Council member accused of hiding cameras in air vent to watch woman shower. You know what always puzzles me about these peeping Tom stories is that there's never anything sexy happening in the women's restroom or the women's bathroom. It's not like TV. I'm just going to put on my makeup. No, either they're going in there to do a number one, a number two, or they're changing a personal hygiene product. There's nothing sexy about that. When they tell people that I don't fart around my man. Where do you think they're going? These bathrooms are nothing but fart lockers. And what's even more interesting to me is that how the hell can a 65-year-old man know enough to set up surveillance but can't change the parental settings on his Netflix subscription? A former St. Petersburg City Council member was arrested Friday for allegedly hiding cameras in an air vent so he could watch a woman as she showered and use the restroom. This mission impossible level effort is so unnecessary. There are literally millions of women online right now as I speak that just want someone to watch them while they do this for free. An arrest affidavit shows 64-year-old Jeffrey Ronald Danner was taken into custody at his home in St. Petersburg on Friday, November 15th for one count of digital voyeurism. Digital voyeurism is a wild charge to have on your resume. I mean, look at him. He looks like he did exactly Exactly what they accused him of doing, being an elderly, blonde-haired pervert. The woman told investigators with the St. Petersburg Police Department that she noticed something unusual while she was in the shower at Danner's residence. The two had reportedly known each other beforehand, and she was temporarily staying at his home. That's why he was so nice to her. So you don't know if he had the cameras there the whole time, or if one day he said he had to go to Home Depot. Now all of a sudden you're realizing something is strange. According to the woman, there appeared to be multiple cameras in the air vent in the bathroom with one pointing directly toward the shower and the other toward the toilet. If you've ever been in a relationship or any situation where you've seen a woman shower before, she's not twerking in the shower. She's not doing swan lake in the shower. She's just like the rest of us. She's trying her best not to slip and crack her head open. The woman took pictures of the cameras and showed them to police as evidence. She also shared a text conversation with investigators in which she confronted Danner over the cameras, you filthy bastard. In the arrest after David officer said Danner responded to the woman with a text message claiming he never connected the cameras after realizing how stupid and perverted it was. You don't say. Me personally, I don't believe a word that comes out of his old ass mouth. Those cameras were hot, those cameras were rolling, and those cameras were live. If you felt so bad about it, why did you leave them in? Detectives work with the woman to conduct a controlled phone call in which they said Danner admitted to placing the cameras in the bathroom, you nasty buzzard then apologized and told her it was a stupid idea. Yes, it was. Danner previously served as St. Petersburg's District 8 City Council member. However, he reportedly lost his bid for re-election in 2021 to Richie Floyd. Records show Danner was booked into jail without bond. Yeah, you like to see people shower. You're going to see a lot of people showering. There you have it, kids. Jeffrey Ronald Danner. Do you think the cameras were on or do you think he didn't have them hooked up?